here today in Milford, Pennsylvania, and I'm talking with Bill Rosado, who is here in the Milford Theater, which he has, I am blown away, you've completely renovated it, and that is very apropos because we have the Black Bear Film Festival coming, and this theater is just such a jewel for our town, as is the Black Bear Film Festival. Great to be here with you today. Look, look at where we are. It's a pleasure having you. It's so, this is so great, my gosh. Black Bear is just around the corner, and I interviewed you. You and I were talking earlier, I think it was, what, five or six years ago, we think? I, I thought it was much more like could, 12, but you reminded me. That yeah, it's about six I know. it feel, years ago. feels yes. like 12. But when I interviewed the last time, I wanted to talk to you because you have been such a tremendous supporter of Black Bear from the beginning. And I know you grew up here. But what is it about the Black Bear Film Festival that you feel is so important? Well, I, I, I think it represents a true um, grassroots kind of festival. I mean, there was none here before. This is a very small town. And we have, uh, not myself, but uh, the, the committee has developed this outstanding, very attractive festival. And we've gone, you know, there's been its ups and downs, like most festivals mm -hmm. have. But yet, um, I think this year is going to be a fantastic year, and I'm glad to contribute by doing the theater. I think it's going to be a much, much better um, uh, location. I've been very proud to be involved with, um, with a local story uh, about a set of twins. Um, that is, uh, I, I won't let that much out because I think... No, I, I love that. I'm see. just finding this out. <laughs> I, I totally love this. Yeah, Friday at 7 o'clock is a set of twins, uh, very unusual. The one twin is a professional baseball player, and the other twin has Down syndrome, and uh, he, he's local, and I think it's going to be one of the most um, inspiring um, films I think I've ever been involved with. I, that is absolutely incredible. And you, um, how did you come upon doing this film? Well, um, their mother and I went to high school together. Love it. We, we've been, been very close for many, many years. And, um, it's just a story that needs to be told, and I think it's the inspiration, believe it or not, uh, I think comes, um, I've, I've known the Twins for a, for a long time and sincerely admire the professional baseball player, but the achievements of, of um, the Down Syndrome twin. Uh, as a very young child, I mean, uh, I watch uh, black and white TV in, uh, in Mexico. Oh I've always been very fascinated, and I have had the opportunity to even do a little bit of filmmaking myself. Uh, I'm an amateur uh, pr producer, and, and I love it. It's uh, uh, no regrets whatsoever. I mean, it's, it's, it allows you to express yourself um, from within, I think, when you're able to do documentaries. And uh, I think film festivals are so focused on that that um, they, they do a great job. They do a great service. Uh, of course. Um, I, first of all, I don't think you're an amateur in doing film. You're actually doing film, which is another side of your personality that I was so surprised. I think when I spoke to you the last time you were getting ready to do your first film, am I correct? Yes, we went to Mexico and we did, uh, we filmed street vendors in a lot of the traditional um, activities. Um, and we've been able to show quite a few here and we've gotten some very good response. And then of course this, this uh, the pandemic hit and everything had to be back shelf for a little while. But what do you think film can bring a small town together you know we have just because of covid people's politics or whatever people are all broken up right now not just here in milford in 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 the world okay everyone's got an opinion everyone's got an agenda how do you think film can bring people together i think we've had a very busy time the past uh maybe 50 years in, 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 in this wonderful country i think the pandemic has slowed things down slowed it and down, has yeah. allowed us all to to take a look at some of those hidden little stories, those hidden moments, those people that have something to offer. And I mean, just, just in town here, I mean, I've earmarked a couple of other, other topics for, for next year. Uh, some of the people who really, for the lack of a better way to put it, have stepped up and have been there for us. And we kind of overlook, um, you know, sometimes we don't, we don't stop and think about this, but uh, we have a, a funeral home that has been here for two generations. Yeah. And what he must have gone through, burying some of his friends. I know he, when he buried my brother, he was devastated by that. Um, you know, the, the, wow. the people stepped up and became heroes. 
not necessarily that they wanted to be here, but they did heroic things. Yeah. Like many years ago, this was a getaway for the, for the, the people from New York, from uh, Philadelphia, yeah. from the larger cities. And then, you know, it disappeared for a while. So now it's coming back. It's coming but, back. But, but this town it's has time. so much natural beauty that um, it's the simplicity of it. And I have made a promise to everyone that my goal is not to make this town a, um, uh, the, something like out of the shore. We want this to, to remain a very peaceful town. Um, I love the fact that the, the, everybody here uh, behaves very, very well. We have no problems, so we're not going to bring any. On the contrary, the, the way this town has been, existed for many years, is what I want people to see and enjoy. Uh, people are very civil here, very respectful of each other, yeah. and it's a quiet town. And at the end of the night, we, we go to bed, and get up in the morning, go for a nice walk, and we don't want that's that what, to change. That's what I do. That's a, you, I go for hikes in the morning. We don't want that to change. Right. Absolutely not. Right. We want to share it with others, but uh, we want to we want to keep the beauty, and that is that, that's just that the, the peacefulness of this town is right. amazing. It's, it's not a noisy town, and it will never be. Right. Film festival is coming up. And yes, we almost forgot to talk about the film <laughs> Black Bear Film Festival. Um, no, because we, we did in the beginning. I mean, going back to you talking about the history of this town, you know the silent movies were made here. Mary yeah. Pickford oh. stayed at the Hotel Faucher. Yes. I love this stuff. And that's something that is uh, going to be mentioned very, very soon. We are, we're working on some little little stories to be told about. Well, they that. used to we're call it to... Hollywood in the Poconos. Well, yes, yes. Yes, uh, it, it, there's so much truth to all of that in uh, right. hidden little uh, um, um, details that I think people didn't know. Uh, this this where this is where Hollywood would have started right. in, a, in a way, um, and, and there, there is still a tremendous amount of data that's like you just got to bring it out to the surface. Got, got to unearth it. I don't know. I, w I was thinking in my heart of hearts, I would love to see a movie museum here. You know, the history of Milford and the making of movies and who this, just in a museum-like atmosphere. Yes. We, you, the place lends itself to that. You know, we have the columns, which is such a beautiful museum, maybe even doing something there to let people know during Black Bear, not this year because we are scaled down, but eventually we, we were major in films and we are going to be major again. You're having a lot of filming that's happening here. Well, Forest Hall, hopefully, yeah. we're going to do this year, but in the future, um, all the environmentally uh, based films will be shown there. This is uh, so great. We, we're going to combine it with the, with the festival right. here because I, I, I think now we're getting in a position in which the festival is going to grow and grow and grow. Um, and we have more, we're going to have many more venues with, uh, with uh, the films that I think people are, will have, uh, will understand the uniqueness of coming to a film right. festival.